Hi all and welcome to this video financial modeling tutorial blog. Today we've got some free bonus Excel shortcuts. If you haven't already done so, download the file, the Excel file called macrostarter.xlsm and put it in the Excel start folder. And the way you can look for the Excel start folder, it's an inbuilt folder, you can go to the menu or the Windows button, Excel start and enter and then let's go up to Excel start. It'll be in Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Office then Office 14 Excel start and we've already placed our macro starter in here. So the free shortcuts that we're looking at today are relatively important. I personally use these quite a lot when I'm modeling. Um, the first one we're looking at is a number formatting. So inserting a comma and also changing zeros into dashes. It's just a bit easier to read when someone's looking through a financial model where zeros are, are dashed out and there's commas to separate the thousands. Okay, so let's have a look at the shortcut. If you've installed that file, when you open Excel, it should automatically open up. In some cases, it does. Excel does have a problem. So what you can do is you can just start up a normal Excel worksheet and then go File, okay, sorry, I'll drag it across and then go File and open the relevant, relevant file, okay? And that will ensure that your macros start up, okay? Or your shortcut macros start up. Okay, so the first one we're looking at is the comma. So to insert a comma, we push Control plus Shift plus C. Okay, I'll leave that guy for you. Oops. We'll insert this one here. So if we push Control, Shift and C, let's see what happens. Control, Shift, C, and that'll change it to a number format. So now what you can see is that the zeros have turned to dashes. They're still zeros. And the bigger numbers that are over a thousand have got a comma separator in there. Okay. You can do that even for bigger numbers. So let's say if we had 1 million and that's already formatted. Okay, that one's not. So Control Shift C will number format that. So that's quite a handy shortcut. The next one we're going to look at is, and I'll just add an extra line, is the date formatting. Okay, so how often in Excel do you get dates come out like this when you use a formula like EO month? I'm sure you've come across it multiple times. And this shortcut, if you've got the macro starter in your Excel start file, is Control Shift plus D. Okay. So let's go and let's highlight this. So Control Shift arrow across and Control Shift D and that will number format it. Okay, so for many more shortcuts, you can check out our Excel Shortcuts training course by following the link above. In the course, we talk about customizing shortcut keys, uh, a number of inbuilt Excel shortcuts that you can use. By the end of it, you should be an Excel Shortcut Pro. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.